Ooh, what have we got here? Sounds like replacement tires for our Solar P1 2.0 scooter. Brand new hybrid road tires. Just got in the brand new ULIP 2 pack of replacement scooter tires for our old stock tire. And these guys are a great deal for a two pack. And there's some really big differences right off the bat, you can tell. Comparatively to our old stock tire, these are already significantly sturdier. Uh, the tire is much thicker, uh, much thicker overall tread design, and the tire is quite a bit heavier. Our original stock tire looked like it had a pretty aggressive tread on it, but it really wasn't. It was still a road tread, but once inflated, the tire was considerably more pliable. Standard six inch rim. I've already done an entire video on the rather complex process of changing the physical tires out. So I'll leave that info in the links below. In this video, we're just comparing the two types of tires to one another. So these are just inexpensive tires that I got off Amazon. So don't expect PMT or Michelin quality here, but these have been a pleasant surprise so far. And they're a double pack for around 60 bucks. And considering how fast scooter tires wear under normal conditions, these have been a pretty good deal so far. This particular tire has got a coating on the inside of it that is basically like permanent slime or stands. This saves a ton of mess and hassle for sure. I'll leave all the relevant info in the links below. If you... But in terms of overall tire size, identical, six inch rims, still the same. What makes this really truly unique is the hybrid tread design. It's a straight up road tread on the top and slightly off road on the side. So this should cover a lot of different kinds of terrain. So I've already put a couple hundred miles on these tires and I have to say they are a pretty pleasant surprise. The kind of hybrid tire design, the road tire on the top and kind of like the off-road tire design on the sides has worked out great and really does pay dividends when you're covering lots of different kinds of terrain. If you're going on and off-road constantly and you're doing a bunch of different kinds of terrain, these tires have really been a huge surprise and have worked out great compared to the stock solar tires which were pretty good and did a pretty good job but they wore really fast for the same kind of terrain that i ride on and even with the stands and slime that i had on the inside the tires broke down surprisingly fast considering the scooter was less than a year old so with the same mileage patterns as i had last year and about the same mileage that I had on the tires so far. The tread seems to be wearing a little better. So take that for what it's worth, but for the miles and for the money, it's hard to beat. One of the things that surprised me the most was how smooth the transition from the top of the tire to the sides of the tire when you're cornering. So far, the overall cornering ability of these tires seem to be quite a bit better than the stock solar tires. Just in terms of grip, they seem to have a bit more contact with the road overall. If you're doing a lot of hill climbing and a lot of varied terrain, I think you're probably gonna like these tires a bit better. They cover a lot more ground. Considering that all the P versions of the solar scooters do 40 miles an hour, the stock tires were always pretty good at high speeds, but these are definitely an improvement over the stock solar tires anyway. You definitely feel more in contact with the road. Cornering is super stable. These are really, really solid, especially when you're going super fast. If you've had your solar scooter for any amount of time, you probably had a chance to put some road miles on the tires themselves. And the tires aren't bad tires, but they're actually fairly thin tires comparatively. These new ULIP tires, the hybrid design, are much sturdier and thicker tires. And if you look at the cross section of the solar tire design by itself, you can see the tire is really only the really heavy knobby part of the tire on the side of it. 
but not really on the top of the tire. Even the tire that has a lot more tread like this still is, this is still the thinnest part of the tire is really the top of the tire. So comparatively to these newer tires, these are considerably thicker. You can feel it with your hand on the sidewall immediately. It's more like a car tire. So the original solar tires are pretty good, but they wear fairly quickly. And that's kind of what started our search for a better and more durable tire. So if you're looking for an alternative to your stock solar P-Series scooter tires, the ULIP 2-pack of the hybrid tread design might be something to look into. This has really been a pleasant surprise and actually, honestly, quite an upgrade to our existing stock solar tires. Uh, great cornering, super stable at high speeds, and quite a bit overall, just more durable tire. It's been more almost like a car tire. And the built-in the built uh, puncture resistant stuff, the permanent kind of version of stands or slime has been just a joy, so much easier to work with, uh, not having to deal with all of that. So anyway, um, definitely worth checking out. These have really been a pleasant surprise and quite a bit of an upgrade, to be honest. Hey, if you learned something more, if this was helpful in any way, please hit the subscription and notification bells. It helps keep the channel going, especially for a new channel like this. Ride safe, have fun. We'll catch you guys in the next video.